Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday, the 30th of April, 2020, and Friday, the 1st of May, 2020. Typically, we don't do market previews for Fridays, as most of the week has already played out. Um, I might do one tomorrow night. We'll see how it goes, um, depending on how the action is Thursday. Uh, we had a gap and go session today. Gapped up, went higher before lunch, and then everybody sat and waited for the Fed. And then nothing happened after the Fed. Uh, we still have a lot of earnings coming out. So here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. And as you can see, uh, approaching the static trend line that's in play right now, which is the green line. Let's go through the daily charts. Crude oil up $2.28 to $17.34. Gold up $17.40. S&P cash gains $76.12. Uh, S&P has now hit the 62%. That literally close is on basically the 62% refib retracement of the move. NASDAQ 100 up 305. Uh, the uh, SOX up 84.55. Biotech's up 31.54. Russell 2000 gained 62. That's halfway back now. The VIX uh, down 2.34. Trin closes the session at one3 Three, four. That puts the 10-day moving average at 1.01. We've got the puts on the VIX from higher, and it's settling down into the 36, the mid-30s range. So that's good for our puts. We've got NASDAQ volume, 4.4 billion shares. It's actually the best volume in a month, which is interesting. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, plus 2,050. On the New York, plus 2,223. Google gains 109.59. On a gap up and then had a further move aftermarket with earnings. Apple up $9.15. Netflix up $8.06. Amazon up 58.63. Uh, near the highs. Tesla up 31.39. And Facebook up $11.28. Goldman Sachs gains $3.02. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF down 88 cents. The Dow up 532. 2463. Let's take a look at the intraday action on the ES. So again, the huge gap up. So after after <laughs> such a waste of time, Tuesday gapping up, selling all the way off and closing at the lows. Then we gap up again all the way to where we open Tuesday. But this time it's a gap and go. And we went higher for the first uh, two and a half hours into lunch. And then that was pretty much the range for the day. The Fed announcement did nothing. The Fed press conference basically did nothing. We tried to go higher late and then we sold off in the aftermarket. Uh, NASDAQ side, about the same. Currently showing uh, ES up 10 and the NASDAQ up 67. But remember, that's off of, we, we dropped after the market closed, the stock market closed in the future. So that kind of offsets that a little bit. Uh, so it shouldn't be too, too, too exciting. Uh, all right, in terms of economic data for the rest of the week, and keep in mind Thursday we have a lot of earnings left uh, after the close, especially with Microsoft and all that. But uh, before the bell Thursday, initial and continuing jobless claims, personal income and spending, core PCE price index, employment cost index, and then at 945 Chicago PMI, at 1030 Natty Gas, and then Friday an hour at 945 manufacturing PMI, final number, at 10 ISM manufacturing PMI and construction spending, and then at some point during the day, the total vehicle sales. So that's the data that's left, still quite a bit there to digest. Uh, and that'll wrap up the week. Remember, Thursday is statement printing, but it's only a month end, not a quarter end. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Thursday, Friday, and a great weekend. Be safe.